In this video, I'll show you how to model alternating voltage and current using the sine wave. What you'll need to be successful in this is the following. You'll need to know how to convert a sine function into a voltage sine function. And it's almost the same. Y is replaced with V, which represents volts. V subscript M represents maximum voltage. You have omega T plus phi, where phi represents your phase angle, and omega represents your angular velocity. The question reads, the figure shows voltage and current waves. The voltage wave leading a current wave by 5 milliseconds. Write the equation for the two waves. I'll start off by creating the voltage equation, and I'll model it using the following. Notice that our voltage is represented by this wave. And this wave happens to have a maximum and minimum value of negative 190. That means our maximum voltage is 190. So V is equal to 190 sine bracket omega t plus phi. Furthermore, we know that its period extends from 0 to 20. So to find the period, we subtract the end point of the wave from the start point. So 20 minus 0 is equal to 20. And that represents our period of 20 milliseconds per cycle. Using our period, we can find this value, omega. So let's go ahead and replace this value into here and solve for omega. Now since this x-axis is in terms of milliseconds, we want to convert it into seconds. So to change this from milliseconds to seconds, we divide this by 1000, which gives us 0 0.02 seconds per cycle. Now I'll use this formula where I have 2 pi over omega is equal to period. Solving for omega, I end up with 2 pi over period is equal to omega. All I have to do now is replace this number into here, and I end up with my angular velocity. So 2 pi over 0 0.020 is equal to, and I'll use my calculator, 2 pi divided by 0 0.020 is equal to 100 pi. I just found out my value and this means that I can replace omega with the appropriate number of 100 pi t plus phi. Notice also that the sine wave starts at 0 and 0. Now what this tells us is that there is no phase shift involved. And if there's no phase shift involved, then phi has to equal to 0. And we end up with a final function of v is equal to 190 sine 100 pi t. And don't forget the volts. Next, I'll model the alternating current. The formula for alternating current using the sine function is i is equal to i max sine omega t plus phi. That being said, notice that this green dashed wave has a maximum amplitude of 2.5. So we can replace this value with 2.5 sine omega t plus phi. It also has a period of 20. I mean, subtract 25 from 5, you end up with 20. So its period is 20 milliseconds per cycle. Therefore, if the period is the same, then it has to have the same angular velocity as our first wave. That being said, our function is 2.5 sine with an angular velocity of 100 pi t plus phi. The difference between the two waves, however, obviously apart from the amplitude, is that this has a phase shift of 5 milliseconds. 5 milliseconds is equal to 0, 0.0 zero five seconds. Just keep that in mind. Also, what relates phi with phase shift, which happens to be this, is this formula where we have negative phi over omega. Negative phi over omega is our phase shift of 0 0.005. We established that omega is equal to 100 pi. So we'll replace that with 100 pi equals to 0 0.05. Multiply both sides by 100 pi and then divide by negative 1 gives us the following. 
first, let's multiply both sides by 100 pi. 100 pi. And then, dividing both sides by negative 1 gives us negative 1 over 2 pi. Negative 1 over 2 pi, that's in radians. And to convert this into degrees, well, we can use a conversion ratio. And if you use a conversion ratio to convert this to degrees, you will end up with 90 degrees. That being said, I'll replace this phi with either negative 90 degrees or negative pi over 2. It's up to you. Our final equation becomes 2.5 sine of 100 pi t minus 90 degrees, or this amp. And there you have it. That is how to model two sine waves into their respective functions representing alternating voltage and alternating current.